What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're going to be going over how to unlock the four new zombie characters that just came out and that are part of the premise crew in Zombies. Now this is going to unlock Dempsey, Nikolai, Richtofen, and Takio. So if you have any questions after watching this video, use the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, first time watching one of my videos, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. And as always, if you found this video useful, smash the thumbs up. So let's get into the first character. How do you unlock Nikolai? So the first thing we need to do is find the Russia Tanker Hat. And now to find this, you need to head to the cemetery just south of Asylum. I did put a little check mark on there. And if you get a good flight path, it really just depends. Now this took me about four or five times to actually get the hat because when you land there so many people are landing there as this video gets more popular as more people find out that you need to land there to get the hat well this is gonna happen more and more right you're gonna get shot in the back so once you mark the cemetery and you get a good flight path you need to head that way and what I recommend is landing near the corner of the cemetery because exactly where I land there's usually a couple guns in this general area so that's my one tip to you guys on this now once you get here try to get a gun try to get armor if you can if you can't don't worry about it too much and just eliminate everybody who's in this area and then the faster you can eliminate them the faster you can work on what you really need to work on now there are going to be more than just one person so that's something you really need to pay attention to in this video you're going to see that i kill two people and then another guy comes up behind me and ends up trying to shoot me in the back and then I had to kill him. So once you get some good weapons and you find your targets, try to drop them as quick as possible. And the best way to do that is have better weapons, right? Because there's only a limited amount of weapons in this area. Now, once we clear this out, we need to look for where the Russian hat is, right? So directly behind me, the direction I'm heading to right now, there's gonna be a grave site that is closed off with a gate. Now, the only way to open this up that's worked for me is you have to use one of these monkeys now be careful because sometimes the monsters do spawn behind you. Once you can get away from him, you need to fully charge this. Once you fully charge it, put it right in front of the door and once it starts to tick, it's gonna attract the boss towards it. What you can do is shoot it a couple times. You don't even need to kill this boss. Just try to wait till you can get in there. I threw a flame grenade so I had an issue. His hat's gonna be spawned right there. This is the only place that we know of right now that this hat spawns. And the first question you guys are gonna ask is, well, does this hat spawn anywhere else? I honestly don't think it's going to spawn anywhere else because of the way they make you get it. You have to blow up that gate and then you have to go in there. And the only way that I've been able to blow up that gate is with the monkey bombs. I've shot rocket launchers at it. I threw cluster grenades and it never opened the gate. Now, once you do open the gate with the monkey bomb, grab the hat and then take off. Now, what do you have to do once you get the hat, well, let's inspect the hat. Now, once we take a look at the Russian tanker hat, you're gonna see that the character mission says we need a place in the top 10, and then we just have to finish the match with the Russian tanker hat in our inventory. Pretty simple, right? Finish top 10, shouldn't be too hard. This is on solo, so I'm not sure if you play this on duels or if you play this on squads, you're gonna have to get a higher rank like they usually do for most of the challenges, but finishing top 10, camp in the corner guys camp is your key with this one i would recommend stay on the outside of the circles pick off people as they're running towards it hide around bushes hide around areas where you can camp because camping is going to give you a higher chance of actually finishing this now once you finally finish the match whether you win you lose as long as you're in top 10 you will unlock i ended up winning my match so it was a little bit of extra gravy on top of it right we unlock a character and we won the match now once the end screen loads it's going to say character unlock nikolai we stand together now more than ever now you do see it says character unlock one of two that's because i did unlock another character but i'm gonna save that for another video but that is how you guys unlock nikolai let's get into the next character dempsey so the first thing we need to do is get the mission character unlock item now this item can actually be located in two different spots the first spot is going to be in Nuketown in the bunker and it's going to be sitting on a bar. So my recommendation if you get a flight path that's close to Nuketown, you're actually going to want to head towards a manhole that has a ladder that goes straight down. It's near the east part of the map and if you're seeing where I'm coming in right now, it's going to be just to the left of this road. There is a manhole right there and it has a ladder. So this is the area you want to enter the reason why is because you'll be the first one to get there now once you go down the ladder pick
pick up whatever you can. If you can pick up grenades, you're gonna need that to unlock this mission. But just run all the way down this passageway and then take a right. Once you get to the right, this is where you wanna be. You're gonna be in the diner and the bottle's gonna be located on this shelf right here in the middle. If you look right here, this is what it looks like. You pick it up as quick as you can and then I would recommend getting the best armor you can trying to get grenades because there are going to be more players down here 100 percent you're going to run into at least one or two players so if you can find some flame grenades if you can find some regular grenades some cluster bombs probably those would be the best but i wasn't lucky enough and i'm going to show you how i end up unlocking him so what i did is i had a concussion grenade and i used that grenade first i threw it at the enemy once i hit him with the concussion grenade i charged a regular grenade and then i threw a flame grenade i was not going to not get this so once I killed him with a grenade, I was able to check the Juggernaut bottle and look, I have a check mark, kill an enemy with any grenade. So now at this point, you can either kill yourself, finish the match off, but at the end of the match is when you unlock up. Now one other place I was able to find the bottle was, I was at the lighthouse and I was killing all the zombies. Now once you kill all the zombies, you guys know you have access to the box. I went to the box and of course, the bottle was sitting there. So that is another way you can actually get the bottle. If you go to Nuketown and you notice that there's no bottle there, well, head to the lighthouse, head to the boxing arena, head to Asylum, one of those areas where there's zombies, kill all the zombies, and when you have access to the box, you have a chance of getting the bottle. And that is how you unlock Dempsey. So let's get into the next character, Takio. Now I currently know of two locations that the letter to the emperor spawns. The first location is at the zombie boxing ring south of Rivertown. Now that is the first location that I found the letter at. So if you guys are looking for an easy spot, this one to me probably is a little bit easier than Asylum. But remember a lot of people can go here. I feel like Asylum is a little bit harder because you have to land on the second floor, but we'll get into that in a second. So for this one, you wanna just land right in front of the boxing ring and head straight to the top. So grab a couple guns because there will be some players and as soon as you grab every single gun, so they don't have any guns when they come in the door, head to this desk right here, hit the action button, which is square, and then the item will appear. Now once that item appears, that is when you can complete the task. I would be careful because there's a lot of players around here, so you wanna make sure that you grab a backpack, grab some armor. I was lucky enough there was level three armor, but all you have to do is go to that desk up top and hit the action button. Remember, it's square on PlayStation 4 and X on Xbox. Now the second location that you can find this item at is at Asylum. So if you get a good spawn on the boxing ring or you get a good spawn on Asylum like I did right here, you can pick which one you wanna go to. So now if we head to Asylum, I would recommend coming in through the top. There's actually a balcony at the southwest corner and if you land on that balcony, you'll already be on the second floor where you need to be. And a lot of times guns spawn up here. I grabbed a couple guns and then I just turned around because there were some players there. I'm gonna finish them off and then I'm gonna go straight to the desk. So the desk is right here. So this desk right here, hit the action button, the note will appear and then I jumped out the window. That's what I would recommend you guys doing and then get into a position where you guys can camp a little bit and get away from the location that you picked up the note. So now let's inspect the note and see what we actually have to do after we get the note. So the first item under character mission says don't use any equipment the second item says place in the top 15. And then the third, finish the match with the letter to the emperor in your inventory. So don't use any equipment. That means nothing that is in your equipment slot. No grenades, no barricade, no razor wire, no equipment period. Please just don't even pick it up. That way you don't get messed up and use it. Keeping that equipment slot empty. Don't pick anything up. Pick up heals. That way you can heal more. Pick up perks. That way you can use more perks. Just stay away from picking up any of those equipment items. That way you don't mess up and use them. When you do pick up the note, you'll see you have a check mark. So as long as that check mark stays on there the whole time, you're good. Now if you use an equipment item, that check mark is going to go away and you'll get an X. Now the next item says survive to rank 15. And that's pretty easy to do, guys. If you guys can't camp enough to survive to rank 15, then I don't know what to tell you. I end up winning this match, but... As soon as you hit top 15, you'll get a check mark. And then you can choose to die. You can try to win the match, play more aggressive, whatever you want to do. And that is how you unlock Takio. Let's get into the next character, Richtofen. So how do we unlock the character Richtofen? 
in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Now the item you have to look for to complete his mission to unlock this character is the Blood Vial. Now to get this it's a little bit more tricky than others because first you need to find a mission requirement item for another character. Now where you do retrieve the Blood Vial is Asylum. So the closest two items are going to be located at Asylum or at the graveyard just south of Asylum. Now once you have one of those items then you can complete this mission. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Letter to the Emperor. That is the mission requirement item for Takio and we're going to use that item to get the Blood Vial. So if you haven't watched that video of how to unlock Takio, you guys can check that in the description. The letter to the emperor is also going to be located at Asylum. So what you want to do, like I told you in my other video, is land on that balcony, jump through the window, and then head straight to the desk. Grab whatever weapons you have here, and then hit action on the table, grab the letter, and then jump out the window. That is the best way to get away, and that way you have time to prepare for anybody who's coming after you. Don't worry if you don't happen to get there first go to the desk and it's not working just look around pretty sure if you cannot hit action on the desk somebody else has it like this guy had the letter to the Emperor now once I had the letter I went straight to the fountain the fountain's gonna be located right in the middle now this fountain is what you need to interact with you have to sacrifice your item by hitting square so once you hit square it's gonna interact and then it's gonna drop the blood vials to the bottom right hand side of you so right in front of the fountain you'll see the blood vials pick those up and then take off I would recommend getting as far away as you can unless you know for sure you killed everybody in the area. Then inspect the blood vials. So now that we have time to inspect the blood vials, what does it say we have to do? Character mission, place in the top five, and then just finish the match with the blood vial in your inventory. So this one gets a little bit more tough than the previous two that I just released. You have to finish in the top five. And my tip to all of you guys who are struggling to unlock these characters and you really want them and you don't have to win the match, you just have to finish in like the top five or top six, is hug the edge of the circle. If you can hug the edge of the circle, then once it says there's only five people left, you guys know you unlocked it. And then if we inspect the item, we'll have a check mark on place in the top five. Now we just have to finish the match. That's whether we win, we lose, or we just die right now. So as long as you have the check mark on the top five, you unlock the character. Once you finish this match, you guys are going to see that I end up dying to the storm. But as soon as the end game loads, it shows character unlock, Richtofen. And that's how you unlock the four characters that were just released from the premise crew. If you guys have any tips that you think would help my subscribers, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you're new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on. So when I do release a video, you guys get notified. And as always, guys, I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support. If you guys don't see me in blackout, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.